What's amazing here is that your sales in the first quarter were up 47 percent compared with the first quarter of 2019, not just 2020, 2019. Why? Well, we're seeing a lot of people continue with the activities that they picked up uh, during the pandemic, like uh, fishing, camping, riding bikes, working out. And uh, people found new hobbies and they enjoy them and they're sticking with them. Is it those outdoor categories that are doing better relatively than, for example, tennis, golf, baseball, basketball? No, we saw team sports was one of our best performing businesses this spring because, uh, quite frankly, kids couldn't get out and play baseball last year. And so they were out. Uh, golfers continued golfing. Mm -hmm. And one of the interesting things is we actually saw football was a was a big sport this spring uh, as, uh, you know, a lot of kids who couldn't play football in the fall we're playing seven on seven and spring ball in the spring. Yeah, so you, you're picking up on team sports, picking up on outdoor sports, e-commerce sales down 20 percent year over year. I suppose we shouldn't um, be surprised at that because that was really the only channel that was working a year ago, but still up more than 300 percent compared with first quarter of 2019. Um, let's talk a little bit about whether you're doing curbside delivery and pickup and that kind of stuff uh, at your locations. How has your business changed basically over the past two it, years? It has changed a tremendous amount with the addition of, of uh, buy and line pickup in store, as we mm -hmm. call BOPUS and curbside uh, because uh, of a lot of the things that we sell, uh, mm -hmm. big bulky items, about half of our dot com business is uh, pick up in store, either curbside or inside the store, uh, with things like grills and uh, treadmills, uh, uh, bicycles. Right. So people will go online and shop, and then they'll come by and pick it up in the store. Let's talk a little bit about any supply chain issues that you're experiencing, any shortages in inventory where you can't get what you would like to sell, uh, and what about price hikes? Are you finding that that manufacturers are passing along to you uh, price increases that you in turn pass along to uh, consumers? We are seeing supply chain challenges like everybody else is, and it's throughout the system, all the way from uh, shipping to trucking uh, in the United States, and that's created challenges. So we do have, while, while we're in adequate inventory shape, we're not in uh, the shape that we were, say, in 2019. So uh, there are a couple of areas that mm -hmm. we've got some outages. But for the most part, we have adequate inventory uh, to serve the customer. We are seeing uh, pricing pressure uh, on some merchandise. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we're working very diligently to manage that so we don't impact the customer. And we're seeing uh, increases on, on the supply chain particularly in the transportation area. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.